Hi, I'm Dylan Northstar. And I'm Darian Northstar. We're both dog psychology and behavior experts, and we've been working with animals our entire lives. For the past six years, we've been operating as the Dog Dudes in Vancouver, Canada, where we specialize in rehabilitating red zone dogs with major anxious, aggressive, and dominant issues through our one-of-a-kind pack power behavior therapy. These red zone dogs are often quite dangerous and psychologically damaged and are on their last legs in society, frequently coming from rescues, traumatic situations, and having been through various failed training techniques. A huge part of the process is working with a diverse spectrum of human parents, their psychology, behavior, and beliefs, as many dog issues are originally rooted in human ones. The magic of our method stems from the fact that we approach and communicate with the dogs that we work with in a way that is instinctual, calm, assertive, and understandable to them in their own language. This then sets the stage for our pack to reinforce this dynamic through direct canine communication. We found that dogs learn better from each other than they do from humans alone. So without further ado, let us introduce you to our incredible and magical pack of Siberian Huskies. So this is Skye. She's the, the mama, mama wolf and she's definitely the alpha of the pack. Aren't you Skye? Yeah, you're the pack leader. After us, of course. Um, she's so gentle and nurturing. Uh, and the queen of kisses, right Sky? You wanna give me a kiss? Yeah, kisses, that's right. But at, at the same time as being very nurturing and gentle, she's also very assertive and she's a big part of the magic that happens with us in our, in our, in our pack therapy training because she's, she doesn't tolerate any kind of anxiety or intensity or aggression in other dogs and she's really amazing at correcting those things. So she's a magical, magical creature. Phoenix is the alpha male of the pack, second in command after Sky. He takes charge when Sky is intimidated or when the dog is really, really large. Uh, he's so kind, gentle, sweet, and so loyal. He doesn't have a bad bone in his body. He's probably the most well-behaved out of all of the pack. Um, he does, however, have one, one flaw, and that's slippery floors. He gets really, really scared and then goes and kind of skids around really, really quickly and then whines. But overall, he's the amazing dog. Right, right, Phoenix? Yeah. So this is Orca, AKA Pookie Bear. And he was, we named him such because when he was born, he came out looking a little bit like an Orca whale, didn't you? Yeah. But he's fabulous. And he's also got a recessive long hair gene, which makes his hair a lot more fluffy and poofy than the other ones. Orca likes to take life slowly and uh, takes time to smell the flowers. So he reminds us to, to take life easy, right? And he's also a total social butterfly and very easygoing, and he creates a lot of balance in the pack. But he's also a little bit self-entitled at times, right? Aren't you? Yeah, you always like the best spots and the best food and all the best of everything, right? <laughs> but he deserves it because he's such a little prince. Ocean is the fun one of the family. His prime motivation in life is to have fun and play with others, especially other dogs. He's also the athlete of the family, being able to run and play for hours and hours and hours, and never we can never seem to tire you out, can we? He's also an incredible cuddler and loves to cuddle for hours and hours and he also knows assume the cuddle position. He's also the goofball of the family, allowing us to do whatever we want to him and being so easygoing. When we introduce a red zone dog to our pack, we as the human leaders of the pack ensure that the dog we're introducing respects the hierarchy of the family unit, thereby allowing them to feel safe so that they can assert their leadership and influence. This then translates to the problematic dog observing, respecting, and ultimately mirroring the balanced behavior of the pack. Just as a child would if it was placed into a social group of friends who are mature, confident, calm, and assertive. It is important to note that in all of our approaches and actions, we ensure that we are abiding by our philosophy that at all moments, we are promoting respect, understanding, and empathy for the animals we work with, and teaching and inspiring others to do the same. Before working with the dog, we do a thorough interview and evaluation of the dog, the human parents, and their home environment to fully understand their history, temperament, and needs. It is important that we tap into a dog's innate motivations and interests, as well as their need for adequate exercise and stimulation. We have a plethora of tools in our toolbox to help rehabilitate dogs, which can involve introducing them to such activities as the tandem buddy system, bike riding, rollerblading, hiking, swimming, whistle and clicker training, and more. The approach we take during the rest of the sessions involves us putting the dog in social situations where we know they will be frequently triggered. This allows us to have a chance to direct the dog to behave in an appropriate manner and repeatedly mark the positive behavior. The end result is a dog that previously had extremely anxious, aggressive, or antisocial behavior running happily and freely with our pack and other dogs, and their human parents who feel liberated, empowered, and elated. 
This is truly a sight worth witnessing. In Vancouver, we have developed quite the reputation and are well known by many people in the local dog parks. And they are happy to assist us with introducing problematic dogs to their dogs through our pack power behavior therapy. We also have relationships with numerous dog rescue societies in Vancouver. And as a way of giving back, a few times per year, we provide pro bono services to those in need. However, it would be so meaningful and impactful to be able to provide these free services on a much larger scale. All things considered, we truly believe that our approach is unique, effective, meaningful, and worthy of sharing with the world. So in a nutshell, there's our pack power behavior therapy. And dog, we trust.